All right, Troop, this is Will Zanders with HBN Supreme Team, and uh, I'm a little tired today. I admit I have been doing launch calls, strategy calls, training calls literally all day. I've been running from 5 a.m. Uh, all the way now. It's like almost 7 o'clock, and I got a uh, launch strategy training call to do in a minute, so I wanted to make this quick. Uh, three quick points. Number one, if you're at a point in your business where you're going through a low, where life is getting in the way, or you're really, really slowing down on your recruiting, uh, do not give up. Don't quit. Don't fall off the map. Um, get with your plugged in upline and ask about funded proposals and co-ops. Okay, That's the way where people crowdfund resources, which is cash money, to do large scale ad buys to sponsor people on your team who you would never get a chance to talk to otherwise because they live all across the country and all around the world. But there are systems in place uh, with our team for sure. Hopefully you're upline. If you're not with us, you know, uh, hopefully you, you, your upline knows about that, but our team for sure. Um, we use co-ops and funded proposals to supplement our warm and hot market building. So it's not always about talking to the same friends over and over and over again, the same family members over and over and over again. That's not what it's about. You can use online uh, marketing and tools and techniques and strategies to supplement your building, especially if you're going through a lull to keep your recruiting up. So that's number one. Number two, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to be a master recruiter? Well, because if we look at the 80-20 rule, uh, the Pareto principle from Vilfredo Pareto from Italy a long, long time ago, we don't have time to discuss that in this video, but just know these are the numbers in network marketing. And I actually am doing a lot of research on this for some training calls I had done recently. Um, let's see, 50% of network marketers are going to quit within the first 30 days. Uh, within the first 90 days, an additional 30% are gone from that company. And eventually they'll quit the industry. But with just know, within 90 days, 80% of network marketers are already gone from the company. They may still be around, but they're not building, they're not working, they're not learning, they're not plugged in, they're probably not on auto ship. 90 days, 80% of people in network marketing gone from their company and their team, okay? Out of the 20% that remain, 10% are gonna be gone six months from their, when they get in, and another 6% are gonna be gone from the first in the first year. So only 4% of people in network marketing are still with their team and their company a year after they join, only 4%. But here's the crazy part. You know network marketing pays out $200 million a day in commissions. Look it up. Do you know that 80% of that, which is around $60 billion, $60 billion a year is basically split up amongst the top 4% network marketers. And what's the number one thing you can do to be a top 4%er? There's a bunch of stuff you can do. But what's the number one thing you can do? You can be around with your company and your team a year from when you started. A year from when you started. Just be there through the ups and the downs. One year from when you started, be there. That'll give you a great head start on being in the top 4%. You can also like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because it'll help you with some skills and tactics and knowledge like this. And it's also good karma, right? But uh, one more point I wanted to cover for you guys. Here is the question I always want you to ask yourself when you're recruiting. Always ask this question. When you're, talking, when you're mentally thinking about a prospect before you talk to them, before you reach out, before you text message, before you do that opportunity meeting, before you do that opportunity call, before you offer them a product sample, ask yourself this question. What are the consequences of this particular individual, this person? What are the consequences of this person not using one of my products? What are the consequences of this person not using a product? What are the consequences for this person, right, of not even hearing or getting involved in HBM in business opportunity. What are the consequences of that? They might never take that dream vacation. They may never pay off their debt. Who knows? They may never get freedom from the job they claim they hate. There are so many consequences. Their spouse may never be able to retire from work. They may work till 65 or 67 or whatever the retirement age is. There are so many consequences to not sharing your business opportunity with people. It's crazy. But there are also so many consequences to you not, for their health, and the health of their family and friends and their parents and their kids to you not sharing with them the HBM product line. So when you don't share the business with people and they don't get a product and get healthier or make more money to get financially free, they lose. When you don't present the business and the opportunity and give them a chance to say yes or no, don't worry about what they say, worry about them. Care about them enough to at least present them the opportunity or the products. And and because those long-term consequences for them will be way better if they're partnered up with what we're doing here at HBN from the health side as a customer or as a business builder, okay? Preferably both. But all right, this is Will Zanders with HBN Supreme Team. Love y'all. See you at the top.